He's Ralph Folau. He's played 73 internationals for Australia. Today, he's in the red of Tonga. It's such a moment for Folau. Back on the international stage for the first time in three years. When I look back on Israel Folau's career in Australian rugby, I am sad. It's one of the most complex and one of the saddest stories I've covered in sport. Israel Folau uh, athletically is one of the most gifted footballers Australia has ever seen. There's no doubt that Israel is on his way to become one of the best players in the game, if not the best. So Israel's stocks are at an all-time high. At the same time, he's becoming more fervent in his religious beliefs. The line picked by Israel Folau. The Bible is very important to me, and as a Christian, I, I feel like it's it's my duty to to be able to share that. The career of one of Australia's most exciting rugby union players, Israel Folau, is all but over after he launched a tirade on social media against drunks, gays, and adulterers. Millions of people across the world were struggling with their sexuality. What do we want? Everybody! When do we want it? Now! A lot of them deeply affected by the Israel situation. It's a really complicated subject, especially when you're dealing with Pacific Islanders. It wasn't just about Israel, it was about our faith. It was very polarised, it was very black and white. You could only sort of have two views on the matter. There's a lot of in between, there's a lot of grey. The lessons of history tell us that we can inflict terrible damage on each other if we think there is right and wrong, if we think there are just two sides. You turn the world into a place that is just at war with itself and nobody wins in war.